Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A Surfacing. Recently I was in a discussion with a friend of mine about metal forming and uh, some alternate techniques for placing fillets on a part that's going to be stamped. And one of the big issues is oftentimes a blend just doesn't look right. And uh, you can see it. I'm, I'll just come in and put in an edge blend now. Leave it at the standard edge blend with a radius of 8. Pick my edge. And OK. Now, as you can see with this, it sort of pinches in, gets a little bigger, so on and so forth, because this is a constant radius. The more angled a wall or less angled a wall against each other is going to determine what that radius looks like. If I double click on this and change this and say, all right, I want this to be a chordal distance or a forced distance, what the chordal length does is it measures the distance between the tangencies, not the radius. So it's going to be a varying radius. So if I preview this, you can see over here it gets a little bigger. You zoom up on it, way up on it gets a little bit bigger over here, it gets a little bit smaller, because the distance between the tangencies is what's being measured. Now, select OK. So this looks like it would be better for the sake of forming. And oftentimes, when you are doing something, let's say a body and white panel, or uh, something that's got a lot of stresses on it as it's being formed, this is going to be a pretty important thing to remember. Other things that you can do with this edge blend tool is I can also add a variable. As soon as I go into variable, you'll see I have my two points from the edge that I selected. And if I want to, I can add additional points. Say so create a midpoint. So I'll come in here. And at this point, I want this to be 15, for example. And I'll leave these two at 8. Now, this is a 15 distance, and these are at 8. So again, this is a more constant looking edge blend. And again, for the sake of formability, this is uh, going to give you, in a lot of cases, better case scenario. So it's important you really pay attention to your blends and so on to make sure that as these things get passed along, your parts can be made without any issues or tearing or crinkling, that type of thing. Anyway, hope you learned something. If you did, uh, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and I'll see you soon.